Hello my friends, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a Sephora haul. More than just a haul, it's a try-on haul. Simply because, let me show you the number of lipsticks I got. It on, it's, it's only fair that I just put everything in just this video. It is going to be, there are going to be so many lip swatches today. So basically the categories that I bought in the Sephora haul was drunk elephant skincare i'll quickly show you guys what i got from drunk elephant and just lipsticks lipsticks from ysl bobby brown nas and pat mcgraw so i just got some expensive lipsticks <laughs> i was just making use of the sale so anyways we have a lot to a lot of lip swatches to go through so let's quickly see what i got from drunk elephant so these are like my must haves from drunk elephant i don't buy every single thing but i do have most of them so this these two are like the minis so when i did my sephora recommendations video it was i was a little worried because the these two minis the serum minis was sold out and i was like are they going to come out with more because if they're not i was not going to buy the full size serums because they're just like big and i'm always like <laughs> I don't know. I'm always like worried if it's, if it's going to go bad. And then if I travel this year, there's like no point. Even next year, I don't think I will. But just, you know, like before earlier, when I used to travel, I would actually go out and buy a tiny mini size. And then I would come home after the trip and I've never gone through a mini uh, serum completely in my, you know, during the vacation. So I'll come back and I'll try to use that up. And then until then, the full size is sitting. So it was just like... I don't know. I felt after a point, I felt why buy full sizes? And especially this, um, the vitamin C firma day serum is actually, uh, it's very potent and it's formulated in such a way that the vitamin C serum stays on your skin for, I think, two days. So basically, you do not have to use the serum every single day. So even if you wash it off with soap or, or whatever, the effects and of this serum is going to stay on your skin for at least two days. So I just use this once in every two days, to be honest, the vitamin C serum, because it is mini, it's not going to go bad either. either. So, so I just usually, I've stopped buying full size serums. I just buy the minis. Um, turns out they came out with brand new minis. So they discontinued the, uh, the old ones and they came, this is like just the same, just the C Firma and then the B Hydra Intensive, these two. It's just like sealed and it's it's a little hard to open. And this one, the nighttime serum, they've actually changed it because it used to come with the um, TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum, which is like a chemical exfoliant. And then it used to come out with, come with uh, Marula Oil. So that's the kind of... Um, you know cocktail skincare cocktail they used to like sell but this time they've changed it to lala whipped cream it's good because i don't buy lala whipped cream because i don't feel it's worth it it is a good uh skin, you know moisturize obviously but it's just not that worth it 60 dollars is i i don't feel it's just not that moisturizing or anything and it does i feel it's not that like rich with potent uh, I don't know antioxidant or anything to be used as like a booster so I just don't buy the Lala so the fact that it comes with it it's okay so I'm I'm happy because the Marula oil I can always buy it from the ordinary so it's just like uh, it's just redundant to be honest and then so those are the two must-have serums that I always get and then the makeup melter that I got from this is all this again is like a must-have this also comes with a physical exfoliant which I personally do not like the fact that Drunk Elephant does this because they are always like we're above all these myths, skincare myths and whatnot. And then they, you know, give something like this, you know, because physical exfoliants are not that effective, not as effective as chemical exfoliant. Uh, so, yeah, I'm like, I was a little surprised. So the makeup melter is a must for me. And then the protein. This is another. This is more. I don't I mean I don't think this is like marketed as a moisturizer it, it is a cream form for sure but it's like a proteiny polypeptide cream this is something this is this is something that I use as a booster with my moisturizer which is from the ordinary now uh because it says strengthen and moisturize so I just it's like packed with antioxidants as it says 
This is basically a polypeptide cream and rich with protein. Protein? Protein doesn't mean protein? I don't know. But I just use this as a booster. So I don't use this to like enough to like, you know, spread across my entire face. I just used it as like a booster to my moisturizer. So that is that. That's important. And then I also got the A Passioni Retinol Cream. This is again, I did not get it in the full size. I got it in... The mini and it comes with uh i think b b hydra which again is like it comes in the morning the c firma you know serum so this is the same uh, b hydra also comes in this with the a passioni which is a retinol cream which actually is pretty good guys it's a really good retinol cream uh, so yeah, it works for me. People have complained that it's like very strong for them. But I, by the time I bought the A Passioni from Drunk Elephant, I had already used a uh, prescription strength, uh, what's Retin A or what's it called? Prescription strength retinoid cream for like two years already. So my, my skin was already tolerant and the highest strength. Uh, so my skin was pretty tolerant. So I use retinoid cream both in the morning and nighttime now so you know and my skin is good so and this one which is the sunscreen the umbra tint physical daily defense protection so this is the sunscreen which actually my kids use it more than i do it's not that i picked this up because it's like oh amazing and this is what my kids should wear nothing less nothing like that it's just i used this once on them because this is the one i had on me and it worked so I just kept using it, to be honest. And yeah, and it's like very smooth, very easy to spread. I, I, I think I reviewed this for sure here on my channel. So maybe I'll link it down below. So that, that is a tinted one. So it has like a beige, light beige thing. I think that is all that I got. So let's just quickly move to um, the Pat McGraw Lip Gloss Mini Trio that I got. This is the three shades that I got. This is, I think, called Sunset passion or something's about sunset guys i don't know but it came with that glitter uh sequin thing which is those sequins are like makeup cockroach they never leave like no matter how how much i clean up there's always something li lying like in a corner of the room somewhere so the one i have on my lips which is slightly milky if you ask me but it's okay it's not that like ashy looking so that is a lighter shade here, which is called Love Potion. I do like her lip glosses and I don't feel I should actually... You see that? It's actually like kind of has a cast. It's pretty light. And I have darker pigmented lips. So on my lips, it looks more milkier. But it kind of settled down. When I first initially applied it, kind of look, did look way more milkier than it looks right now. I'm just looking at the mirror there. So, but now it's kind of doesn't look that bad, if you ask me. So that is the lighter shade. And then, I will quickly take it off. I really do like her um, lip, lip gloss formula because it's not like completely non-sticky where it just like feels amazing like a pillow, but it just like disappears on you. It, there's definitely the perfect amount of stickiness and non-stickiness there. So that is a rose color, which is Sunset Rose. It is, this is perfect on me, right? Sunset has the peachy tone. Again, um, has a shimmer. Both of them have shimmer in them. So that is Sunset Rose. And then finally, this is Flesh 6, which I believe came in a set um, that was released with the Golden Opulence Collection. The Opulence Collection is the one that came for the Chinese New Year. So I think this gloss, uh, Flesh 6, also came with that. I was like, okay, it's just like a mini gloss. It's okay. Um, yeah, No, I can always use it. And the Flesh 6 gloss is a cream finish. It doesn't have any shimmers. Oh doesn't have any shimmer in it it's pretty so pretty look at that all of the flesh um lipsticks or lip glosses have this terracotta reddish brown kind of um 
tone to them, which flatters dark skin so beautifully. So those are the three lip glosses that have come. So these are, I think, part of the permanent range. The bronze opulence and the red opulence lip gloss sets were actually part of the golden opulence set, which came for like, you know, as I said, for the Chinese New Year. So I believe those are not permanent. These, um, this new lip gloss trio is part of the permanent lip gloss trio line that she has. And then next I got some more uh bobby brown's um what is this called crushed liquid lips so i already got like a set of four and then i kind of like them so i thought well, why not go ahead and get more a little more not a lot <laughs> so i ended up getting three more shades so this is in the shade uh main squeeze beautiful coral and then this is bittersweet like um berry and then there's one more hiding somewhere yeah i also got um the two shades from the set that i got earlier i think uh last um holiday season i'll link it down below where i talk about the formula this this is going just going to be about swatches guys because there's so many to get through so i just got these three just for comparison with the three new colors that i got for the sephora sale let me quickly swatch these. This is in the shade Bittersweet. This is a very pretty color. Very pretty. You see that? Has the perfect amount of purple. And looks beautiful on dark skin. So that is that is a really, really bad swatch. And you, you see... You get the idea how it looks. It looks really good. And again, the f it looks it feels like a pillow on the list. It feels like a pillow. Very, very amazing. And had does not have the stickiness, which kind of um, leads to the point that it doesn't really last that long. To be honest, the fact that it is like does not have any stickiness to it to the lip liquid lipstick, uh, you know. You could just conclude that you know it doesn't really last that long you you definitely have to reapply the liquid lipstick at least an hour i feel i don't feel it's like not an hour you'd still have you know the liquid lipstick there it's not like completely vanished but it's not like a may it's not like as you first applied it okay this one is in the shade in a jam i gotta say in a jam and bittersweet are are like the same at least on my skin tone they just look so similar i was a little disappointed that i got both i, I was positive they're going to be different because they're in the same launch and let me quickly swatch that look at that now look at that can you really tell the difference that was really annoying when i first tried out but it's okay They just look, maybe uh, Bittersweet is more purple and Inner Jam is not that purple, but they look all the same, to be honest. They just look the same. So I was a little disappointed in that. So, and we have Main Squeeze, which is a core. Oh, wait, before that, let me show another berry that I got from the set, which is in the shade Smoothie Move. Smoothie Move is also like a, this is a mauve color, but you can see how this they're very, very different. This is more purple and this is more like um, reddish plum. Not exactly red, obviously, but you know, you know what I mean. So Smoothie Move is very different. So, but I don't, don't recommend you get both Inner Jam and Bittersweet. They are just the same. I would definitely recommend get Bittersweet. It's more like vibrant, more purple. Especially if you have dark skin, it's going to pop on you even more. And then, I hang on. Then the final shade is Main Squeeze. Main Squeeze is, is another coral. Another coral. And I have Mango Mood to show you how it is different from the shade Main Squeeze. Because Mango Mood is also a coral shade. But it so, feels so good. I'm like pressing my lips together because they feel like it's even more smoother than butter that's how amazing it feels like a cushion between your lips let me quickly swatch main squeeze 
again it's a very unique color especially if you have dark skin look at that it's just so vibrant and it, uh, it's not neon definitely i know it looks looks so so bright it is not neon you can definitely use it without a lip liner if you have dark skin deep dark skin oh you chinos so you can definitely use it i'm in a bad bad swat not a good one but you can easily use this without a lip liner the fact that it's kind of like on a, on a lightweight formula i know what's what's that it's itching so the fact that it's very lightweight formula and it's not like heavy duty you can definitely pull it off you see how that um this is main main squeeze <laughs> this is mango mood that's why i brought mango mood to show you quickly how it looks mango mood is more pinkier as you can see it's definitely more pinkier and main squeeze is more red definitely especially on the lips you can actually tell so yeah those are the three bobby brown the top three are the new shades that I got from the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip Line Color. So we have finished that. What's next? Um, wait, let's do NARS. I had this on my wish list. There are a lot of things that I did was not in my wish list. My Sephora recommendation wish list, I was like so goody goody and just like... I did put a lot of things in there, but I got way, way more than my my wish list. So let me quickly swatch Nas Afghan Red. This is a shade that I, that I got. It's like a beautiful reddish plum color. It's a stunning color. It's not a uh, part of the Nas Audacious line. It's just Nas's regular lipstick line. So just the tiny one. This is very. It's pretty compact and so lightweight. And then that is that lipstick. Something is itching, causing my itch, nose itch. That is that. So pretty, right? It's a perfect tone of purple, mauve, and definitely red. There's red there, absolutely. So let me just quickly take my Bobbi Brown liquid lip off and show you guys how that looks. Yes. This is satin finish. I think Nas regular lipsticks have matte and sudden finish or is it matte i don't know i was just i had the shade once upon a time look at that look at that i had the shade once upon a time but it just like broke broke down and then i had to get rid of it and then i forgot all about it so that is nas afghan red very very pretty beautiful beautiful color absolutely would this would look beautiful on every single skin tone from the lightest to the deep dark like richest of skin tones so i think all we have as you can see from the packaging i did not get rid of the package uh, just ysl lipsticks i know i got just <laughs> i got so many let me quickly pick out the colors that okay there there are two new formulas that YSL came with that i really one i just really loved so much that i got every single shade the the velvet cream lipsticks i got every single shade except for one i think but i have every single shade from the collection so i first got one okay let let's talk more swatching let me first do this uh, so these are the rouge volupt volupte rock and shine lipsticks so these are cream lipsticks that are sheer and very glossy so they give that popsicle stain on your lips because they are sheer and they still have that glossy look so i reviewed one and i really liked it so i reviewed rocking coral i believe yes i i bought rocking coral and reviewed it this is that and i really 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 liked it a lot I felt it was like I'm so uh, I don't know I have inhibitions I was like so uh, I used to be so self-conscious anytime I wore a coral lipstick I would like check constantly check my mirror constantly if it does it look good does it look good if I go indoors I would again check if I go outdoors if the lighting changes I used to be so self-conscious about a coral lipstick so i thought let's just try like a sheer coral lipsticks and you know and this was such a easy 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 coral and it's not like a reddish coral it's a true pinkish coral so i really like that and so i went ahead and got the i i reviewed it but you know what let me just try it on 
I reviewed it. See how pink that is? It's a true pinky coral. And it smells like watermelon. It's like so delicious. I just can't stop smelling. So this is just one swatch as you can see. And it's like sheer. So if you go ahead and go and do more swatches. It's just going to look so pretty and so juicy. So I really liked it. So I went ahead and got the red shade. I had another shade also in my wish list, which I got. I This shade that I have is red and rock or rock and red, which is just a true red shade. I also wanted to get a shade orange speaker, which is like orange shade. But turned out that both orange speaker and red rock and red were very, very similar. So I ended up returning. Yes, I gave I sent it back. I ended up returning the orange speaker color. That's just a red shade. Orange speaker was just a hint warmer than rock and red. Oh, by the way, these have shimmers. You see the star there? The star is just packed with shimmers. So I ended up returning the orange speaker. So I don't recommend buying both rock and red and orange speaker. Just because they are so similar. But that is rock and red. That just looks like a beautiful, like just like a wash of color. And it has like a gloss and has good pigmentation. Reds usually have good pigmentation. So that is rock and red and I really like it. But still, I definitely love the rock and coral because such a pretty pink coral shade and you can just wear it effortlessly. So those are the two rock and shine YSL lipsticks that I got. So let's I think what's remaining is just the no, uh, sorry, not NARS, YSL Velvet Creams. Let me quickly swatch because we have so much. I don't know if I have the original shade here. I'm sorry. I skipped all of the um, boxes because it's so idiotic of YSL that they do not have the lipstick name at the back. They only have the number and lots of code numbers, coded numbers. They do not have the name, which is such a shame. So let's try this one first. This is in the shade Nude Sedition. Nude Sedition is like a peachy brown shade. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I was so, I was jumping up and down. I was so thrilled that all the shades that I got were like complimenting my skin tone. Look at that. It's more like my lips, but a tone of mauve, right? It's pretty much my lips, the tone of mauve. It's a very pretty shade. It's going to look beautiful on dark skin, rich, deep dark skin. So that is... I have not heard a lipstick that's called nude and which is nude on my skin tone and this would definitely be nude on rich skin tone so I was like totally taken aback in a very good way so this is nude sedition absolutely dark skin friendly and then so quickly to give like a gist of what the velvet YSL velvet creams formula is it's just a liquid lipstick as you can see but it is transferable. It's not a transfer proof liquid lipstick and the finish is matte. But there's very, once it sets, which only takes a few seconds, the, the transfer is very, very, very little. And the actual pigment of the lipstick stays on your lips. So it's really good. Oh, wait, something's flying around. What is next? This is Coral Symbol. Coral Symbol is, as you can see, a bright coral. But it's more of a reddish coral. More of reddish coral, as you can see. Let's try that. That is a really hot, hot coral. And the applicator, look how precise that is. This is an applicator made for red lipsticks. There are so many red lipsticks in this line. So that is coral symbol. Again, I don't think it is neon at all. It's very vibrant. It's not neon. And I definitely recommend this for dark skin. And it's more of a reddish coral than like a pinkish coral. And I absolutely recommend this. It's going to look beautiful on even richer skin tones. 
for sure. So what's next? Rouge click. Rouge click and hang on, there was something else too. Not this. Rouge, where is that? Nope, there's another lipstick which looks so similar to oh, Rouge Faction. Yes, Rouge Click and Rouge Faction look so similar. I was like, I, I was at the verge of returning them, to be honest. I was like, oh, do look at that. <laughs> do, you do not need both, especially when the price is like 30 something dollars. You do not need both, right? But um, one is kind of blue toned. One is a blue red and one is a yellow red. I wouldn't even go as far as saying it's a like orangey red. Just a hint of yellow to be honest. That is, oh wait, 205. What is 205? 205 is click. Got it. 205 is rouge click. And 20, hang on. I'm just getting confused because these idiots do not put the names. Rouge click. Wait, I just watched Rouge Click. Oh, let's do Rouge Faction. Rouge Faction, as you can see, slightly yellow. This is more red and this is more yellow. They almost look the same, but I just love the formula so much. So I decided to keep it. So let's try Rouge. What is 205? Damn it. Rouge click. Let's try rouge click. Look at that. It's more like yellow. Like I said, this is like the perfect applicator for to apply a red lipstick. Right? And that is, look at that, how velvety it looks like velvet on my lips. That's that's pretty much why I did not return it. Although they are so similar, I was like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So that is Rouge. I don't know what, but let me see what's remaining. So this is Rouge Faction. So that is Rouge Click. Rouge Click is more yellow. It's more like warmer. Let's do Rouge Faction. Faction, like I said, they kind of look the same. Like, I don't even know. Maybe this is more yellow, right? Doesn't this look more yellow? I don't even know, you guys. They look so similar. I don't know. Just make up your mind. Just buy either, okay? I feel this is more. <sighs> They just look the same. I was like, it's okay. I can do with just another lipstick. I feel this is more blue, if you ask me. This is once it tones down, once it kind of sets. Do you see it's more blue? The other one was more vibrant and more yellow. So I feel Rouge Faction is more blue tone and Rouge Click is more like a yellow red. Okay, let's get on with the next shade. So these two are definitely similar. You do not need both. You just definitely do not need both. I still have so many. Oh my gosh. The Club Bordeaux is um, Bordeaux wine color. Let's do Club Bordeaux here. As you can see, they are very, it's, it's definitely a different color. at that it looks so pretty it's just like a wine red like a reddish definitely has brown too in it i feel it's not like true red it's like just a dark red color so that's club bordeaux and then let's try nude emblem so this is the other nude shade there's actually another new shade one the one i did not get was the lightest shade which i felt would for sure won't look good on me without a lip liner so i just skipped it so this is nude this is peachy 
let me swatch it right next to that shade where where are you i think this is that shade right this is the shade that first swatched hmm okay let me just swatch it here this is more peachy the the shade that i first swatched which was this i suppose yeah was more pinky and it's more peachy as you can see so this is in the shade nude emblem Look at that, it was so pretty and vibrant. So that is Nude Emblem. Yes, Nude Emblem is more peachy. That is Nude Emblem. I still have four more left. Can you believe it, how many I got? four more left let's get going power through anti-social prune it's like a purple i know it's so like so dark but it actually is on the sheerer side this is the i feel only shade that was kind of on the sheer side you see that you're able to see the actual color it's kind of sheer that is pretty purple right it's like almost in tone with the club bordeaux shade but it looks so dark on the actual packaging is as you can see it's pretty light and a little streaky too uh, the formula is kind of gel i don't feel the formula is kind of cream at all like kind of gel that you're able to kind of even it out for some reason i feel i know this is such a bad swatch You see, it kind of evened it out. It doesn't look that streaky. It doesn't look streaky at all, if you ask me. So that is anti-social prune. That is definitely kind of on the streakier side. So if you are totally the streakiness and lipstick turns you off, don't pick up anti-social prune. And then what do we have here? Rose Descent. Oh, this was the original shade that I got, which I swatched. And I was like so looking for, I was thinking it was probably like a pink or like a rosy dark rose like a deep rose color it just turned out to be a red <laughs> so i was a little disappointed again another red look at that vibrant vibrant let me swatch it right next to this i guess it's like a reddish pinkish red if you look at it because these two are kind of true reds this is more blue and this is more or this is more blue and this is more yellow i don't know but this is kind of like a pinky red and it just looks red on me. Look at that. It just looks red on me. Maybe on a different skin tone, but I doubt it, guys. I seriously doubt this shade is going to look, it's just going to transform into like a fuchsia shade, which is the description of the shade on a lighter skin tone. It's just going to look the same. So... It's a pretty stunning color, but I'm just saying it's just a red shade. It's like a pinky red, but it's a red shade. We have two more. Actually, these two colors are very pretty. I love them so much. This is in the shade Rouge Rebel. Rouge Rebel is like a brick red kind of tones, like a burnt red, brick red, like a chili red something along those lines there's also another shade along those lines which but it's it's definitely different see that very pretty i have lipsticks everywhere i have lipsticks all over around my mouth so that is rouge rebel which looks so pretty i love it very much definitely recommend this it's going to look good on every skin tone and then rouge oh wait chili incitement chili incitement is again like very similar to uh you know the same family color family but they're but it's surely different see this is more lighter than this let me get rid of this lipstick and let's swatch chili incitement
chili inside me, as you can see, is kind of lighter for sure. It's more of a burnt orangey, like a burnt pumpkin shade. Not more orange for sure. It's definitely, they are more red. No doubt about it. But it's slightly lighter than Rouge Rebel. That is it, you guys. The bag is empty. <laughs> We've finished all of them. Oh my gosh. And it's not that long, to be honest. I was expecting it to be longer. So this these are all the lipsticks that i got and the skincare let's take let me take this off and i really am craving for something honestly this feels very comfortable still because the formula is that fantastic you can see i got so many so hope this lip swatch video was useful give this video a thumbs up i mean really give it a thumbs up and let that way you let others know that you know, check this video out. There's something important and useful to help you make a decision. You giving a thumbs up is kind of letting YouTube know that you like this video and you're recommending this video to others as well. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope this video was helpful. Help you help you make a decision. These are expensive lipsticks. That's why I really wanted to come here and do like a swatch video and not be lazy and really you know discuss these shades with you yes some of these shades are similar but the velvet cream i really like it i think this my may have set for a minute so maybe i'll do a kiss, kiss test i told you guys the transfer is very minimal the transfer is so minimal and this is not a transfer proof liquid lipstick i still feel the cream i know <laughs> this side of the lipstick is missing bad swatch but I'm telling you guys, this is a fantastic formula. Amazing. That's why I just went, went really crazy. But I think, I feel, not I think, I know that these are worth it. That I'd be so happy to use these or this formula in different shades. Not so different, but you know what I mean. So I'm so happy that I got them. I'm so happy. So that is it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.